What are those bugs that are completely covering your trees? It's the invasive spotted lanternfly. And according to a study done by Penn State, it's caused over $50 million worth of damage and the loss of 500 jobs per year. It was first discovered in Pennsylvania in 2014 and has since spread rapidly to over 11 states. So today we're gonna to talk about a general overview of them, what they look like, what their main host plant is, and what we can do about them. And luckily, there's actually had two studies come out and it showed that with one treatment over the course of 14 days, there's a natural product that we can all use that killed almost half of the spotted lantern flies. And that's just with one treatment. So, welcome to the garden. It's gonna be a great day. My name's Eileen and this is The Garden Squared, where we teach you how to garden organically with less effort and more success. So if you're looking for a channel that gives you great tips and how-tos, as well as some sweet garden tours, click the little likey like button and subscribe. So the spotted lanternfly, like I said before, is extremely destructive. It feeds on over 70 different plants and that includes native trees, fruit trees, grapevines, rose bushes, and a lot of agricultural crops. And it is spreading rapidly, doing a ton of damage. So its main host tree is called the Tree of Haven. This is what it looks like. And it's also very invasive, also an invasive plant. So we've got the invasive spotted lanternfly feeding on the invasive tree of haven, as well as causing a lot of damage to our native plants and our agricultural crops. So the nymphs of the spotted lanternfly go through four stages. The first three stages look very similar. And this is what they look like. They just get a little bit bigger. So they're black with white spots. And as the nymphs grow, they just get a little bit bigger. When they go into the fourth stage, as you can see here, they start to get red on them. And then this is what an adult lanternfly looks like. And when you, it opens its leaves, you can see it has red on it. So what they do is they suck all the sap out of the plants and that causes wilting and dieback of your plants. And it also secretes uh, like weeps the sap, which they call honeydew. And the honeydew grows a black sooty mold. Now, neither the honeydew nor the black sooty mold is dangerous to humans or animals, but it's very bad for the plants. And it can, the black sooty mold can spread to other plants and cause a lot of damage. And of course, the lantern flies themselves sucking out all the, sa the sap from the trees damage the trees as well. So, We've got the Tree of Haven. We know what the spotted lanternfly nymphs look like and what the adults look like. And now let's talk about what we can do about them. So there's a couple of different options here and I'm personally gonna employ all of them. So the first thing that we can do is just squish them. So they have one or two good jumps in them and then they get tired out. So if you just have, use your hand with glove on it, I know it's kind of gross to be squishing bugs, but they're just so damaging and invasive. It's really important that we all do this. So what I do is I try to get them to expend their one or two good jumps and then I squish them when they're tired. And also what you can do is have like a fly swatter when they get to be adults and they'll land on the house or you'll see them on the driveway or all over the ground. You can just take the fly swatter and squish them that way. And that way is actually a little bit easier. But when they're nymphs and they're feeding on your plants, uh, it's easier to hand squish them so you don't damage your plants even more. Another thing that we can all do is use sticky traps. And this is an example of what that looks like. So you can either buy the sticky tape from the store, which I'll link into the description below, um, or you can use duct tape with the sticky side out. And what that does is the lantern flies, they always crawl from the base of the tree up the tree. So when they climb up the tree, they got stuck on the sticky tape and the netting kind of just helps guide them to that sticky tape. And we just wanna watch the sticky tape, change it, uh, make sure it's not becoming litter on the ground and just keep after it. And then the next thing that we can do is just set uh, 
just a regular trap with netting along the tree and then at the top of the netting there's jars and the nymphs will or the nymphs and the adults will grow will climb up from the base of the tree go through the netting and they'll get guided into those holes and fill up the container and then you just fill the container with water to kill all of the all of the bugs and then you just dump them out in the garbage and make sure that they're all dead obviously also one of the reasons why they're spreading so rapidly is because of the way that they lay their eggs. So their eggs don't really look like eggs. They just look like kind of mud patches and they can lay them on pretty much anything. So a car, um, they can also hitchhike on cars. Just an adult will land on a car and it just clings really strongly and then you drive somewhere and then you park where there are no spotted lanternflies and then suddenly there's lanternflies in that area. And they'll lay their eggs on firewood and you don't realize what the egg casings are because it just looks like mud. And then you take the firewood from one area to another area and then bam, you've just introduced a ton of lot, uh, spotted lanternflies. So if you find the eggs, um, scrape them off and like crush them up really good and soak them in rubbing alcohol and, um, and then put them in a plastic bag and you can throw them away. So it's important to keep our eye out for these eggs too. And one adult lanternfly can lay up to 50 eggs. So it's a, it's a big problem and that's definitely contributing to the rapid spread of them. So uh, we've got sticky tape and traps for control. And now I wanna talk about a natural treatment. And this is actually really good news. So there's been two studies, I'm linking them to the description below, that show that with one treatment over the course of 14 days, this natural product that we can all buy in the store or online uh, was effective in killing almost half of the lanternflies, and that's just with one treatment. So I'm really hoping that if we all use this method of control, uh, we can help stop the spread. So this product is a, a naturally occurring fungus. It's called Bulvaria bassiana. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly, um, but it doesn't matter. I'm going to show it on the screen here. Um, and it's used as an organic method to control aphids, thrips, and white flies, as well as a bunch of other nasty agricultural pests. And it's safe for humans and safe for animals. Um, there is one caveat. I've read conflicting studies that show that it might be harmful to bees, it might not be harmful to bees. So what I'm gonna do is, in the area where I know that there are bees forging, I'm going to use uh, hand squishing and maybe sticky tape, as well as some traps to collect them. And then I'm only gonna use this natural treatment to spray directly on the spotted lanternflies where I know there are no bees. So when you see uh, masses of spotted lanternflies flies on trees and there's no beneficial bugs around, just spray them directly. And it's a powder that you mix with water. You can put it into a spray bottle, mix it up really well, and then spray it directly onto the spotted lantern flies. So hopefully if everybody gets together and we use this natural treatment along with our traps, our sticky tapes, and our hand squishing, we can control the spread of the spotted lantern flies. And listen, guys, we can all get together and help the planet. We can help regenerate our ecosystem. And one of the easiest ways that we can do that is if you have a lawn, watch this video, and I'm gonna show you three easy things that everybody with the lawn can do and should be doing to help the pollinators. And the bonus is that it's gonna help you save time and money. So let me know in the comments below if you guys have any more questions about the spotted lantern fly, if it's in your area, if you guys have any good tips and how to's on other methods of control that we can all try, let me know. And as always, click that little likey like button and subscribe. Thanks for watching and have a great day.